the shop with custom lows it is episode 8 today we're going to be working on the under seat enclosure working on the supreme patty center console build i just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who ordered off my website last night i got a few design orders well probably four or five yesterday and last night also sold an enclosure design um well no not enclosure design and enclosure itself which is super cool i'm super excited about that i'm still really small so literally every time i see an order come in i'm excited whether it's five dollars or three hundred dollars so Thank you guys so much for those of you who placed the pre-made uh, enclosure design orders. Huge shout out to the guy who placed the subwoofer enclosure order last night. Um, I will say, as I said in previous episodes, this, def this career is definitely difficult. I don't want to get too religious, but it definitely seems like God has my back every time I need it. Comes to in the end, it's the end of the month, I definitely... Uh, I needed that bump so thank you guys so much for placing your orders if you haven't placed an order on my website make sure you do so exciting episode today gotta get episode seven up for you guys gotta edit it and upload it i'm excited to get that episode to you guys well you already have seen it by then but i uh i'm hoping to bring some more exciting stuff to these videos for you guys i'm really liking how much you guys are uh enjoying this episode or rather not episode hopefully you're enjoying this episode but enjoying the series either way it is episode eight of in the shop with custom lows let's get into some work all right so i got the uh under seat enclosure up here i'm gonna start working on getting this baffle attached to it so i gotta get the baffle attached and then there's a bunch of uh routering on the outside of the enclosure some shaping to get it to where i finally want it to be and then obviously a bunch of body work so let me get this baffle attached and then I'll show you guys what's next. Got the baffle on there. I think it's clamped up, drying right now. I also screwed the baffle. I've been doing a lot more screws lately when I can, where I can. Obviously stained enclosures, you can't do them on the outside so you gotta rely on uh, hidden Craig screws where you can, brad nails, and obviously the number one glue. But this is drying up now. It should dry pretty quick and honestly the screws will hold it pretty good. I could, I'll probably give it another 15, 20 minutes before I start taking it apart and um, routing it, cutting it down. Got all the clamps off the enclosure. It is ready to start shaping up. I'm gonna be using uh, the Milwaukee sander, my regular sander, circular saw, uh, whole bunch of stuff, but this thing's gonna look awesome when it's done. Working the shape out on this thing, I'm using my circular saw to cut the 45s on all the corners. Then I'm gonna use my sander to smooth round. <sighs> all right, well, I am, uh, I don't know, halfway, I guess. Pretty far along in shaping this thing. I'll show you guys some better angles of this thing, but a lot of hard work, a lot of sanding, as you can obviously see, uh, cutting, trimming, you know, smoothing out. I like to, uh, Kind of, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. So clearly you can see a bunch of nail holes on this thing, definitely a bunch of Bondo work I'm going to have to do with this, um, sanding, filling, Bondo, but it's looking good. It's hard to see in the camera. I wish I could find a better way. Maybe once I get it all bedlined, it'll be a little easier to tell, but I'm really happy with how this front's coming out. It's nice and round. This corner too. I really like this corner. It's kind of cool when you uh, shape it this way. Gives it a, a natural, I guess a natural look. I know I'm gonna be bedlining it, but just gives it a smoother flow across the whole thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but here it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, how this thing is turning out. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Got a couple hours more sanding on this thing and, and grinding away, but we'll get it done. Got the box all shaped up. Got the majority of the sanding done. Now it's time to get some Bondo on this thing. Got a ton of screw holes, as you can see. Got some small 
seams between layers. It's coming out good. Super excited with the outcome of this so far. This thing's gonna look sick once it gets bed liner on there. Uh, after that, gotta throw some red LEDs in there. Sadly, didn't get to work on the center console build today. This thing just took quite a few hours of sanding, grinding, shaping, sanding. So get the Bondo on here and we'll let that dry overnight, come back in the morning, sand it, get this thing sprayed, and then we can start jamming on the center console. Okay, got this thing all bonded up and it is drying. I'm gonna let this dry overnight, come back, sand this thing up, but this thing is looking great so far. You can see a ton of bondo, but a lot of it's just uh, screw holes. There's some uh, plywood voids I'm filling. But I'm excited to see how this thing comes out when it gets bedlinered, even after it's been sanded. We'll get this thing bedlinered tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below this enclosure. I, uh, I myself am very happy with it. All right, guys, that is it for another episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. It is episode eight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. As always, tomorrow we're going to be working on getting the bedliner on the underseat enclosure, working on the Supreme Patty build a lot more. Uh, we missed out on work on that today just from being so busy, but we'll get to it tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Thank you guys for watching this whole series. For all of you who've been watching me since the beginning, I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed yet, please make sure you do so now. Comment below, let me know what you think of this series. Like this video, and I appreciate you. I will see you guys all on next episode.